Up here I'm just showing there are two folders which should be on your computers. One is the one called handouts and then the other one is called sheer exercise which we will use afterwards. If you don't have it, just check that you have these folders. If you don't, then we need to get them onto your computer. But hopefully everybody got these two. Where, where you put them. I don't know where you put them. Handouts and, and the other one's called sheer exercise. Hopefully next nearby. Um, I had I had two blue pen drives circulating yesterday. They have both disappeared, but maybe they're with somebody. Okay. Because um, if anybody are missing any of these, we can then distribute them, right? What we start with is this one called handouts, and in that you can find uh, some ten different PDF files with exercises. One of them has been printed, and that's the one you have now, which is number three, getting started. And this is just a brief introduction to this Mike Workbench explaining the structure. In general, you'll find you have these different windows, typically the Explorer to the left, a central area you're working with, and so on. Whenever you click anywhere, some of the other windows will change. Properties will be the properties of what you clicked at. Uh, tools will be the tools you can use for the thing you clicked at, like that. So it's, it's just a brief introduction to that, uh, just to get to familiarize you with this. After that, we'll do the two that are shown here with an arrow. So the GIS manager, which is 0301, which is not printed, but it's available on your handouts, and then the 34 on time series. And then we'll stop that, and this should be before, by lunchtime, we should have done all that. And then after lunch, we'll do the Shira. Um, the Shira is, is a folder like this where there's subfolders called GIS and time series. If you don't have it, maybe find out now, then we can copy them during this morning. But we're starting with the handouts exercises. I mean, now that they can actually keep no tools. So we can. And generally, it's, it's like that in this. When you click on something, the properties of that come. And here you can simply type another address or copy it in or whatever you want, step by step. Yeah? And the same with this. With this. The idea is to go a bit through these different things. If you want to change the, the, the web page, generally what, what, what you do, if you don't see it, let me just uh, click somewhere. By now we cannot see what the web, what, what it is. Should I just maximize? It? So we we cannot. You have this. Yeah, I can go go through it. Some have at least uh, understood it, but maybe not all. No. Not the majority no. of them. Oh, okay. Um, but then we need everybody on the same page at the same time. Now this is the property of the import, which is visible, and here you can give the file path and like that. And go yes, then it sets it up as it as it was, right? But hmm? well, there you go. Enter. Well, yeah, the idea was to. If you want to see something else than, than this one, right? You can, uh, or you can open and uh, uh, open Google Chrome or something, and then copy it from there. Okay. But I suppose we keep the same thing. Then. If you keep the same, then fine. I mean, it, 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 it was just since this is now your tool, maybe you want to start it with something else. We order the bank. Work yeah, and I think the idea is a bit that that I mean, this there's a default view which is like this, but but maybe you don't don't want to see it like this. Maybe you want the properties to be up here and, you know, tools to be, I mean, you, 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 can, you can put these up any way you like, right? You can close this, you can do many things. Right? It's, it, it's basically just to illustrate the, the possibilities that you can make this if you want. If you, if you like it the way it was, then on the view and explorers, if you take a default selection, then it'll reorder to where it started, right? 
Uh, I normally just keep it like this. Um, but uh, but uh, some of my colleagues, they, they like, for example, to have, and, and also some. So analysis of density is possible. And normally I use what is called the Soto Mercato. So, so what, to do that, uh, you go all the way here to the database of the GIS, and now we can see this is VGS 84. By default. By default, right? So if you go down and find the Soto Mercado somewhere, which is not that far down as I remember. Um, so we are now in the US, uh, western US somewhere. Yeah, can, oh, the, stations we can book. Yeah. Add to the moon map. In general, whenever you click on something, you can change that, right? Mm -hmm. If here I click on this catchment inside the legend here, uh -huh. then I can change the way it is displayed. Mm -hmm. And one thing is maybe you give it some transparency. Now you can see the background map through it. And you can. Um, yeah. Uh, so so this, is, this is now the web page you selected, but which apparently is not, has a problem, right? Uh, do you want to change this or it doesn't matter? Hmm? Okay. So, so what's the question? Uh, how to access this uh, module? Maybe you need three W's to see if that helps. Left click on the other one. Now you're right clicking. Okay. And did you try to select the map here? <coughs> yeah. Then it's complaining because the uh, uh, in the no in the GIS, and then click on the database database on the top. Then we can see right now it's just VGS84. <coughs> If you go down, about 50 down, this is far too much. Uh, now it was again too much. So I find it for you? There are hundreds. It's WGS and then it's Soda Mercado. So we, now we're still in P, we have to go to W. If you want, I can find it for you quickly. Um, so, oh, it was there. There it was. Yeah. And then click on the map and then, and right now we still have this one selected. So the properties is that. If I click on the map, then it's properties of the map. Last one. Act last one. And it's not part of the exercise just now, but 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 I think it's described so you can yeah work with it later on. It's blank. You don't have any time series at all. Down here you can then say where is it? Actually I don't series and then maybe you want them in dark red or some other color like that. But you can now see through and you can zoom in to different parts, which I'll try to do with moving this up. I don't know whether it's reacting on this. But because the, because data is normally then six hourly, and the idea is you run a tool to change it to daily and then store it. It could be daily, but it could also be hourly or weekly. Since it's daily, what we do is we buy selecting the tool called sum. So we're adding all the values, then you have monthly values. Click on that. Then that has started. This one I get out here. I like to take a plot of that just to see. So I say to chart, and again right click on this, add to sequence. Set it up, and now slightly different. So, period statistics. And you are scripting. You are scripting. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, but I've never done this exercise, and I don't know how this happens. How many have started on the time series? Some have here, over there. Um, the time series is referring to some time series from YR, which are actually not there in the database. So that part of the exercise we can't do. We can do it with some other data. Uh, it, was, it says it will, you take the YR and change them from six hourly to add them up to daily and then save them. Instead, we can take some of the daily rainfall, which is there, make it monthly and then save it. So same procedure, just some different data. I'm just called on you. Yeah. Maybe you don't have a. Can you oh, can you read this? Accept. Then accept. Introduction. What can you learn in this one? And then you describe what to do. How to import, add to group as well. So this basically describes the okay. procedure. If you want a quick view, so you're in time series and you're here. Mm -hmm. So right now here you can import. We're working with some called DFS zero. 
you look at them in the data, then the in here under. If I do it like this and then click the run tool, then it'll make a king on on uh, the data from this uh, one called handout. Data, data, info, and then we'll try installing it. <clears throat> um. So we have some rainfall, yeah. Did you try to uh, run this tool where it changes, where it makes period statistics? I'm just from the beginning. Yeah. Take it, server, and then oh, I have this folder. Okay. But, but normally, you, I mean, generally we work in this one called SQLite. There's also these Oracle and other things. But we work only on this one. Uh, and, and this is the, well, this one's called user Jamia. You don't want to be there? Mm -hmm. Which is on the desktop. Desktop. Let's just see if I open this one. Uh, and then we, if we copy that path and then paste it here. So you want it like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is why we want it. Uh, see, there, there is already one called R, so it's already there. Mm -hmm. This was just, to, I'm not going to update it. This was just for checking. Run the program. Start this mic info and then. If you, you, you could run it, but, you could, but if you click on this one, then you add it to a sequence. Okay. And then, and then the result of it is this one. Then you click on the, if, if not, click on the period statistics. Then that is the new time series, which is the weekly sum. So some of you, what you have already learned now needs to be remembered. But in that, you will see a few other of the interesting tools uh, to work with. What we don't get to do today we can continue a little bit on Friday, which is still left a bit open for whatever other you would do. But, but tomorrow we are introducing another tool, which is this uh, web-based drought indicator. So how you want to spend Friday on one or the other, or we'll see, or maybe the game, we'll find out. But if, if you're more or less done with the time series of this handout, open that Shira exercise and start on that. So this has to be changed to this Soto Mercator. Which is somewhere, which is now, which is here. Okay, uh, so that should be there. And that means. Uh, but otherwise, do the same thing, right? That uh, yeah, we have a, a time series here. And then do this period of statistics. And instead of daily, we do monthly or weekly or whatever you want, monthly sum. One, this one you can then do something about. I think we'll maybe put it to a chart, so I'll add that to the sequence. But I'll also... Um, and then add that to the sequence. So now I have a sequence to take it, the object, make those statistics, plot it, and put it in the database. So if we run it... issue with the you log in okay good Which is just send it, right? Okay. Uh, but but uh, lots of uh, these are actually registered as if yeah, registered. you're already here, right? Yes, yes. So 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 there must be something else. But he he says he'll he'll check it. Um, okay. I'll just uh, so let's go and have tea, and then I can log in. So and I'm on also on the same Wi-Fi. Probably as you, so it's not the Wi-Fi. I, I was thinking whether it's a, it's a firewall or something, but I'm on the same. Let's go and have tea, and then if if you can join me.
how to like how would we be if we logging with your phone because it has separate internet connection. Okay. So, but yeah, that should not be an issue as long as you have internet. I, I, I could. Some organizations have a special firewall that makes things difficult, uh, but the phone wouldn't have, and probably also Jamia also don't have. But I don't know. I have a colleague looking into it. Why don't we go and have tea, and then yeah. if you join me back here afterwards, we'll see if he comes up with something. I'll just tell him. Uh, I'm going for the tea. Yeah, me too. Okay. I will, never mind. I'll log on when we come back, and we'll see. Tea, tea break.